All right, guys, we have some turkey legs here. It's like a little pre-Thanksgiving video, but um, actually, I'm just clearing up some freezer space. Um, I had some pork chops that I purchased last week, but I forgot to freeze them, and I left them in a the refrigerator um, pretty much all week, and I pulled them out. I was like, oh, man, I forgot to freeze them and open up the pack, and they had that nasty, smelly pork smell. So we're gonna toss those. And I just went ahead and thawed out these turkey legs, turkey wings. So went ahead and defrosted them, put them in a uh, sink full of water for about 30, 45 minutes and patted them dry. And let's uh, season them up. We're gonna use a combination of our Cooking with the Town 2 Cajun blackening seasoning and all purpose seasoning. But go ahead and use whatever flavor seasoning combination that you like. We're going to start off by hitting this with a little oil. I have some uh, olive oil here. Pour this over top. Helps get the seasoning to stick. And let's go ahead and rub the oil into all sides of the chicken. And then we have our seasoning mix here, or blend, I should say. And we're just gonna just sprinkle this all over, all sides. I'm gonna rub it in so it's gonna get all over my hands anyway, so. Try to get both sides and then gonna rub it all in. <clears throat> It's, it's close to thing. I mean, some people have, some people just want, I know some people when I have Thanksgiving, people come over and they just be like, man, I just want a leg or a thigh. I don't, they don't like the breast. Um, they just want a wing or a turkey leg. I'm not a big turkey leg person. Like when you go to the fair and they have the turkey legs, for me, they never taste seasoned correctly. They, they taste pretty bland to me. I think that's pretty much why I stay away from it. But some people love it. But this is going to be like just a quick Thanksgiving precursor. Today's like the 12th or so, uh, the 12th of November. And Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So, hey, I got turkey going on now. And I'm going to eat it again all next week. I have no problem eating leftovers. I know some people was like, after day one or two, they're like, I'm done eating this Thanksgiving food. I'm eating it for breakfast, lunch, dinner until it's gone. All right, we got it done, seasoned, and uh, I'm actually, you know, take a little bit of butter, pat some butter on top of this also, and then pop it into the oven. Clean my hands off. We'll be right back. My homie Carl over here, while I was washing my hands, he came and take a peek, and he said I didn't season it enough. So let's uh, just hit it a little more. <laughs> Is that enough? You sure? You can bow your head. I can't hear you. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's put some butter on here and pop it in the oven. I'm gonna switch to a different pan so I can collect any of the juice because a lot of fat's gonna come off this chicken, off this turkey. All right, let's switch to this pan here. This is a uh, we sprayed this with some cooking spray, and basically going to pop these turkey wings in there. Hopefully, they all will fit and then nice pattern that will allow all of them to stick or fit let's play around with this a little play a little play a little bit of tetris um, uh, uh, one over here 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 there we go all six all right, I have some unsalted butter. Even though a lot of fats want to come off of this, this is going to flavor it a little bit. So I got about a quarter of a stick of unsalted butter. I'll put you over here. All right, here we go. Into the oven at 400 degrees. It's 5 o'clock now. And let's see what it looks like when we come back. All right. 
I'm going to lower the temp to 350. I changed my mind. So I want to kind of get low and slow, get these kids fall off the bone. So we're going to put these at 350, but it is still 5 o'clock. All right, guys, it's been an hour and 15 minutes at 350. I put it in uncovered. Um, I forgot to add onions and peppers to it. And here's my onions. So I'm actually going to try to add that to the gravy that I make and try to sweat that down a little bit. But it's not going to be as soft as I wanted it to be. The peppers were not going to be regular peppers. In my eyes, they were going to be jalapenos. But um, everybody else in the house was claiming that the, that the turkey wings would be too hot. Even though I was going to probably put it in one small little corner. But um, I'm going to try to somehow make an onion and add onions to the gravy that I make. And uh, so I'm going to take the wings out, try to drain the gravy, try to drain the fat out, and then make a sauce out of some arrowroot flour and um, pour it over top, pop it back in the oven. We'll be back. <laughs> it's not the food's not ready yet. Is it dinner time? You ready to eat? Yeah. Okay, give me about I'ma say 30 minutes. Yeah. That's a long time, huh? That's a long time? Sorry. Smell It smell good? Do the food smell good? You can smell it? Okay, thank you. <laughs> ah, I should have strained that. Uh, we'll figure it out. You know what? I'll just use it all. It's not that much. All right, we have our uh, fat from the turkey wings in the skillet here. We're going to add in some arrowroot flour and continue to just stir this and mix it in. Actually, also with the, I'm going to add the onions now because I didn't put them in a skillet, so I want them to cook down as long as possible. Uh, here they are right here. So, just going to mix this in. Let this go for about a minute or two, and then I'm going to add in chicken stock, and then put it back in the pot with the with the chicken wing, turkey wings. Keep mixing, maxing chicken turkey, but you know what we're making. Keep misking, keep turning this, spinning this so that nothing clumps together. All right, it's been about three minutes or so, and you can see it's starting to thick up. The onions have softened up a bit from sauteing in the skillet along with the fat. Now, um, I'm going to add in some chicken stock. season this up with a little bit of pepper and some garlic let this go for about another minute and basically put this back into the skillet or the baking dish that we're using and let it put it back in the oven for about a good 25 to 30 more minutes Let's go ahead and place these back into our baking dish and pour the gravy over top of it. Back playing another game of Tetris. Mixing and matching, trying to get them right. Sauce, pour this over top. 
Yeah, let's go this way. That arrowroot flour thickened up super quick after I took it off the heat. We're going to pop this back in the oven for about 30 minutes and we're good to eat. All right. Back at it. I'm going to pop it up to about 400 degrees now. Alright guys, here we go, out of the oven, smothered chicken, chicken, <laughs> why do I keep saying chicken, I said chicken about 15, five times, smothered turkey wings, um, yeah, and that's the oven, close it, let's see, you gotta record, we record, here we go, Take one out. See? Yeah, it's done. All right, yep, here we are out of the oven. Uh, here is one of the pieces. It's done. It's done, done, done. So, yes, yeah, good to go. And it's time to eat. Early Thanksgiving, which, again, I have no problem eating Thanksgiving food all the time. Turkey is good to me. And I like turkey. Let's eat. All right, guys. Here we are. Um, we have our turkey legs done. Um, and the uh, only thing that I would do differently for these is I would probably, uh, I would cover them with foil and cooking them just so that they can bake and steam in their own juices. Um, the flavor that came off of this was great. The flavor uh, on the chicken wing. <laughs> I keep saying chicken. The flavor on the turkey wings were great. Um, and the uh, gravy that we made, that came out excellent also uh, with the arrowroot flour. So, um, you try this recipe out, but I would probably cover it with foil so that way you can get a little bit more fork tender, a little bit more pull off, fall off the bone softness. But the flavor and everything out was great. So you want a little quick, quick early Thanksgiving meal? Try it out. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy.